Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is uh, Tariq from smartbiketrainers.com. Uh, North Pole Engineering, the company behind the cable uh, device, uh, released a firmware update uh, a couple of uh, few days ago. And that firmware update is available to all customers with a cable device right now or new customers. The firmware update includes a lot of cool features, but the one feature I am interested in is the FEC to FTMS uh, uh, support. And the new update also includes new design to their app and some additional features. So if you're not familiar with cable, it's that little device that converts uh, that converts ANT plus signal uh, and rebroadcasts it in Bluetooth. It's useful if you have a foot pod that is ANT plus compatible or a Garmin heart rate monitor. Uh, since Garmin hasn't uh, adopted the Bluetooth into their devices yet, uh, you, it can read uh, the ANT plus signal from your heart rate monitor and rebroadcast it in uh, Bluetooth to say uh, your uh, mobile device uh, or if you want to run on Zwift uh, and you have an ANT plus Garmin foot pod you can pair your foot pod with the cable and rebroadcast it in, in Bluetooth. So FTMS is a new fitness protocol uh, it stands for uh, fitness machine service and it's a new uh, protocol to allow applications, fitness applications, to communicate with uh, fitness devices, and in our case, bike trainers. And that's what allowed the application to control the trainer. Uh, up until recently, uh, app, app, app developer relied on mostly ANT plus FEC uh, to control a trainer, to give you that slope mode and erg mode and all these cool features that you use on your smart trainer. Uh, and it just makes it a lot easier because all they do need to do is just one code to uh, to make it make their application compatible with all current trainer that are compatible with the anti FEC protocol. With Bluetooth uh, app app developers, they have to code separately for each trainer on the market. So every year we get new trainers, and app developers have to uh, make their app compatible uh, with those trainer using uh, with Bluetooth. Uh, with FTMS with FTMS protocol, all, now all they need to do is just make write that code once, and uh, their application is compatible with all uh, FTMS uh, compatible trainers. Uh, so the keyword here is FTMS compatible. The trainer has to be compatible, and the application has to be compatible. Currently, only uh, only Trainer Road, the Sufferfest, and KinoMap compatible with FTMS and Zwift is cycling is not compatible. However, Zwift running is compatible and we're, we're probably gonna see uh, Zwift uh, release an update uh, to make their cycling compatible with FTMS as well. So what this update to cable does, it, make, it takes an ANT plus FEC compatible trainer and makes it FTMS compatible. So in this case, uh, if you are using a Tax Neo trainer, you know that Tax Neo is not compatible with the Sufferfest uh, mobile application. So now, with using the cable, you can make the Sufferfest compatible with your trainer. Uh, all you need to do is just pair the cable device to your trainer and uh, pair the cable to Sufferfest, and Sufferfest will be able to control your trainer. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's uh, let's get to that. Okay, so uh, just to pair uh, the cable to your phone, uh, all you need to do is just make sure the cable is turned on and you will see uh, the double uh, green light uh, blinking. And uh, once you get it to your phone, your phone, the icon on top will turn green. And now I'm just gonna, so I have my Taxio uh, turned on and I'm just gonna scan for it. And to do that, just click on the uh, cable icon on top of the screen and click on scan ANT plus sensors and it will start searching for all sensors uh, close by. It looks like my cable just turned off. So there we go. So click on the top menu again and we are go and just tap on scan sensors now starting to scan and as you see here uh, you'll find it found the fitness equipment this is my tax neo and it also found it under po bike power and speed and cadence the one you want to select is a fitness equipment one so make sure that that is selected and click on the top icon again to save it click on OK here. 
once it is saved go to the ANT to Bluetooth equipment or ANT plus to Bluetooth assignment and uh, the one you want to select is the FTMS so check that and again just save click on the top menu to save assignments and that should be it once it's saved you can exit out of the app and we're just going to open uh, Sufferfest and uh, to pair Sufferfest to cable just click on a workout so we're just going to click on a very dark place and it should start searching for power and you see it found uh, power as, a ca as cable so select that and uh, start your workout and you should be good to go so I did get to try Sufferfest for a little bit uh, to see if it works and it did control my trainer, my Tax Neo, and we'll probably do a deeper test later to see how it works. But if you try it, let me know what you think. And if you uh, are interested in getting that cable device, I will post a link in the description below to where you can get it from Amazon. It's about $60 uh, device. And if you like this video, please hit that like button and make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time.